Good morning. It is 6.48 a.m. on Monday, November 14th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I've been up for a little bit, been screwing around a little bit. Um, this is five more minutes. I, I have a split lip right now. My lower lip was just got really chapped, and then it kind of split, and it was bleeding. That sucks. I'm not sure why it was extra chapped. That's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes your lips are just chapped. I'm trying to put uh, lip balm on, but uh, I don't know. I always have this weird relationship with chapstick or lip balm in the sense that it feels like, like, like it's always a very short-term benefit, but it I kind of instinctively feel like it has this, like over the long term, it just sort of makes you keep needing it. Like, like it feels better right now and maybe for a couple of hours, but, but over time when you're using it, like you find yourself just needing it more and more as opposed to just not using it at all. And your body just takes care of it. But I, I feel like that's like, I'm not sure if that's true or for it just feels true. I suppose I could look it up. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I failed to go to bed early last night. I mean, I'm doing all right because I, I caught up on a lot of sleep over the weekend, but I swear I'm just not good at going to bed at the times that I should. I, I got to reading a description of all the castle environments in the Dungeons and Dragons Curse of Stroud adventure. Um, and that was interesting, but I mean, it could have been anything that I was reading, but just leading me to stay up later than I should. And, you know, it's like, eh, I need to, I need more discipline for that. It's hard. Uh, you know, but I, I need to take care of myself. It's important. I need to recognize that this is something that I have observed over time that I need to be better at. And so... I need to just uh, start setting more rules for myself. Just because there, for example, there's just going to be some nights where I really have, like, stuff that cannot easily be rescheduled or done earlier. But then all the more reason for uh, me to not uh, carelessly stay up too late on the nights where I don't have any special reason to do so. But I don't know, because it's, you know, if I'm really not feeling sleepy, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to just decide to go to sleep earlier than you feel ready to. But it's also true that if you, you might not feel super sleepy, but uh, if you were to lay down in bed, turn the lights off, not do anything else, and try to go to sleep, you might find that you can go to sleep just fine. I've never had insomnia, um, like certainly never chronically anyway. I mean, there's been a night here, a night there sometimes, usually when I'm worried about something where it's harder to sleep. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, it's not ever been an issue for me. So my, my, when I get, when I'm not getting enough sleep, it's always just because I'm choosing other things over sleep. And, uh, you know, that's, it's not good for me, but I suppose it's better at least in the sense that I, you know, it's within my control, right? And yet I don't do a very good job of self-control in those circumstances. Anyway, um, it was a pretty good weekend. Got some relaxing in. That was good. I need to get back. Uh, I've kind of slipped away from doing my writing every day uh, routine. Uh, I need I need to get back into that a little bit too. So I got some uh, you know personal improvement notes I've given myself. I'm going to work on that. Try to improve. Um, 
And, you know, it's just like, it's not uh, something I'm beating myself up over as much as just like course corrections. That's the goal. So in any case, though, uh, I have to go ahead and get ready for work. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.